This is a good one right here. Meet Daniel McCormick, an artist who uses materials found in nature to help restore damaged watersheds. Now, why are you so interested in restoring the watershed? Well, this is uh, this area right here uh, supports a large uh, amount of coho salmon and steelhead trout. His sculptures are designed to conform to eroded banks and gullies. The goal to help these areas reestablish themselves. We all live on a watershed. To strategize how you could affect the watershed in a, a positive way, some way to bring it to balance, is, uh, is really interesting to me. Uh, be careful of the poison oak. Oh, well now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, McCormick has already collected plenty of clippings and coconut fibers to make another sculpture. Can I shove this in here? Sure, yeah. McCormick knows what he's doing. For nearly 20 years, he's been restoring areas throughout the country. Now, I see you made this nice basket. What have you wrapped this with? Is that raffia string? Oh, uh, that's string. Yeah, a little string, send you. It's something that will break down and be biodegradable is, is my main criteria. So we're really trying to stuff this with uh, watershed material to trap silt and agricultural waste. Farmlands can have a big impact because sediment, nitrogen, or chemicals can drain into the water. His sculptures help filter the water, and plants and trees thrive too. This is a, a different type of art form. I mean, really, it's all natural art form. Yes, it's an ecological trajectory to to uh, to my art practice. It um, it on, only lasts uh, a couple of years and it does its job. The way they work with the environment is they are biodegradable and they just uh, will break down and uh, be part of w where they came from. We're packed really tight. Okay. And you can see it's pretty light. Let's see Super how heavy light. it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can carry it. <laughs> yeah. Over the river and through the woods we go, or rather through the woods and to a river that's receded at this time of year. All right, you're putting me to work today. Yeah. <laughs> it was a tomboy, you know. <laughs> I guess it's paying off now. So do you feel like an artist or more like a nature worker? It's still a work of art to me. I do it on public lands for the public and it's for uh, water quality. Being an artist and helping the environment at the same time. Do you think this is the best solution? Um, I, I don't. I think that uh, it's a drop in the bucket. And that's, uh, that's about all I really want to, to achieve is make sure that that drop counts.